Hello everyone, welcome to the lesson. In this lesson you're going to work out a question on area approximation using the mid ordinate rule. We shall solve a question in the year 2017, paper 1, mathematics, question number 13. The question reads, use the mid ordinate rule with six strips to find the area bounded by the curve y is equals to x squared plus 1, the lines x is equals to negative 4, x is equals to 8, and the x-axis. So that is a question. Now we shall begin by noting the most important things you're given in this question. Uh, you're supposed to use a mid on a rule with six strips. Now the first thing you're going to do is to just uh, have a table of values for this function y is equals to x squared plus 1 and then we shall begin from um, given the limits here x is equals to negative 4 to x is equals to 8. So I've already prepared the table here so x and y i need to get the y values so x starting from negative 4 to all the way to 8. now one important thing you're, you're going to notice this that when you prepare this table of values from negative 4 all the way to 8 you shall end up with 12 strips but you're required to get six strips that is why i have prepared the second table there where i've extracted now the x coordinates that are going to give me six strips now to understand this one better I went ahead and prepared, uh, I sketched this curve, y is equals to x squared plus 1, that will help us understand more. Uh, remember, it is not a requirement to have it uh, drawn or sketched in this uh, question, just three marks. But I just did it to explain. So when you sketch this curve, this is what you should have. Uh, the curve is there, the function y is equals to x squared plus 1. Then the values are beginning from negative 4 all the way to 8. Now when you count these uh, strips, uh, from negative 4 all the way to 8, you, you realize that there are 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And you require 6 strips. So you need to reduce the number of strips from 12 to 6. So how do you do that? We'll do that by increasing the width. When there are 12 strips, you notice that the width or the height of each strip will be 1. From negative 4 to negative 3, from negative 3 to negative 2, the height will be 1. But since we want to have uh, 6 strips, we shall enlarge each strip. So that uh, the first strip now would uh, begin from negative 4 to negative 2, then the other one from negative 2 to 0, the other one from 0 to 2, the other one from 2 to 4, the other one from 4 to 6, and then from 6 to Eight. So I'll draw it here. So one strip will begin from up to that point, the other one up to that point, then uh, the other one up to that point, the other one up to there, the other one up to there, the other one up to there. So you notice that you have what that is one strip, two, three, four five and six you can see now there are six strips so i've managed to reduce them from 12 strips to 60 by simply increasing the width now the width will not be of the width of each strip will not be one but it will be two from negative four to negative two from negative two to zero and so on so that is uh what you should do and now since uh, you want the mid using the mid ordinate rule you shall identify the center of each strip now like in this strip from negative 4 to negative 2 we shall take the center the center the x coordinate you're going to use is negative 3 the other strip from negative 2 to 0 we identify the center the center of that strip will be negative 1 the other one from uh, 0 to 2 the center of that strip we shall pick 1 the other strip from 2 to 4 the center of that strip is going to be uh, 3 the other one from 4 to 6, the center of that strip is 5. The other strip from 6 to 8, the center of that strip will be 7. So you're going to extract these um, x coordinates and then you get now the height. That is the ordinates, the ordinates or the heights using x values as negative 3, negative 1, 1, 3, 5, 7. And that is what I did here. I extracted them here so this is the table that you're now supposed to fill and these are the mean ordinates uh, that will give the mean ordinates so using this function y is equals to x squared plus one we fill this table when 
y when x is uh, negative 3 what is y so x squared plus 1 this will be negative 3 squared plus 1 will be 10 1 squared plus 1 will be 2 1 squared again this one will give 2 3 squared plus 1 will give 10 this is a 5 squared plus 1 you give 26 7 squared plus 1 you get this is a 50 so we've used this function to fill this uh, table now after doing that now we can proceed and calculate um, the area bounded by those lines using the mid only rule area using the mid only rule is given by the height multiplied by the sum the sum of the ordinates and these are the mid ordinates the sum of the ordinates now the ordinates are um, here are 10 2 uh, 2 10 26 and so on so area therefore will be given by height of each strip the height of each strip as you could see from here uh, the height of one strip running from negative 4 to negative 2 the height of that strip is 2 or look at the width from negative 2 to 0 from 0 to 2 the height is 2 so the height is 2 then multiply by the sum of the ordinates we begin from 10 plus 2 plus 2 plus 10 plus 26 plus 15 so when you work out these you get this one will be um, this will be 2 multiply by 10 plus 2 plus 2 plus 10 plus uh, 26 plus this will give uh, 100 and then multiplying these you get 200 square units is the area and that is uh, simply how you're supposed to solve that question thank you